Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with another ARK Survival Evolved fan-made dossier. And we are looking at the Anomalocaris Giganteus. Now, normally I don't review all of the hand-drawn dossiers, but in this case, I believe Nicholas suggested they add this guy to the game a day before I found this, so it seemed fitting to uh, do one of these. Of course, if you guys ever have any suggestions on something I should review, you make sure to let me know and I will do it for you guys. So, what we are looking at here is the consumer of Trilobites. As you can see in the uh, size comparison up at the top, it is quite large, you know, bigger than a human, up to uh, two meters long, it says. So, it's definitely appearing to be threatening. However, the idea is these guys are not aggressive. It says they are a carnivore, but a specialized carnivore, because they only are aggressive towards trilobites. They're passive to everyone else. In the wild, Anomalocaris giganteus is a very strange creature that lives in the ocean around the island with a voracious appetite. So, it's not going to eat humans, but it's going to eat every single trilobite in sight. Now, let's think about this. The trilobites are all around. Now, they have a lot of chitin, and they also drop meat oil, and pearls. Now imagine having something farming that. That sounds pretty good to me. Normally I just take my Spinosaurus Poseidon out there, start chomping on the Trilobites and get all that supplies just because it's that good, but if this guy's gonna hunt it on his own, especially in a scenario like the Lagoon I have, that would be pretty beautiful. So, let us uh, continue on with the dossier, and yet, despite being almost two meters long, Anomalocaris exclusively feeds upon trilobites. However, when attacked, Anomalocaris will defend itself. And when domesticated, as it hunts trilobites, many tribes use Anomalocaris by letting them wander around. This way, tribes can harvest good amounts of pearl and oils. Anomalocaris uses its claws to crush and destroy the trilobite shells, keeping the meat to itself, and it gives the rest to the tribe. Alright, so it makes plenty of sense. This guy is going to be your uh, AFK gatherer of trilobites. Now, they are such a good resource, it sounds like a really good thing to have. Now, obviously, if you have this guy wandering out in the water with no protection, he's not that big, and there's a lot of very dangerous things in the water, like megalodons, so it may be dangerous to have them wandering around, but in a closed-off scenario, or a scenario where you have your own defenses around, like your own megalodons or something, this would be very efficient. Um, once again, I think in the lagoon that my series is taking place in, it would be amazing because tons of trilobites spawn around there. Um, the front is defended against megalodons, so these guys would just have free reign to harvest as much as possible. And we would just go to gather stuff off them and it would be like, Oh, I have 400 chitin! Well, thank you! Thank you, Mr. Anomalocaris! <laughs> so... I don't know, I think this guy's really freaky looking, but I do think he was actually confirmed to be added to the game eventually. I don't know for sure, but I remember seeing that somewhere before, so we may see him in the distant future. Keep in mind there's a lot of dossiers out there that have not quite been added yet, and this obviously hasn't even been made into a, uh, not even, you know, concept art yet, so we will uh, keep that in mind, keep an eye out for this guy. But also, if you guys ever do want to, uh, you know, make your own dossier and show it to me, you of course can. Obviously, if you guys make it special, then um, I'll probably end up reviewing that one as well. If you would like, of course. Just because, well, I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this guy. And uh, leave a like on the video, because that's everything I have to say to you guys. So, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.